Welcome to CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we'll be drawing the first angle projection of the isometric box that is shown on the left of the screen. In the previous video, we looked at the construction of the hypocycloid, so perhaps you could visit that video after you've completed watching this one. At CAD with Mr. Hugh, we aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online, and we thank you for joining us. We'll be starting the video now. Welcome back to CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we'll be setting up our AutoCAD workspace. In the previous video, we looked at the construction of the hypocycloid, so perhaps you can visit that video after you have completed watching this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to touch up set our units so we type units the shortcut is un all right we're in millimeter we're draw, drawing in millimeters we're going to change um, our precision to zero and we're going to accept the decimal degree the precision is zero and the length is in decimal and as i said before um, the units the inch the units would be millimeters. Here's a sample of the output. We click OK. All right, the next thing we want to check is our um, grid. GRID grid. The grid spacing is 10. We press Enter. We're going to check our snap. The snap is 10. OK. All right, so the snap on the grid is 10. Is equal to 10, meaning that when you move the cursor after you have selected a command, let me sh the cursor would adhere to every 10 millimeters on this grid that is shown here. All right, the next thing we're going to set up is our layer. So we're going to go to our layer properties manager by clicking this icon. We're going to select this, so we're going to go new, and the first layer we're going to make is our construction layer. Right, the next layer we're going to make is our text layer. The next layer we're going to make is our outline layer. And um, we're going to change the line width to 0.3 millimeters. So I'll press OK. The next line type we're going to make layer we're going to make is the hidden detail. Right now we need to change the line type, um, so we need a hidden detail. So we're going to go to load, and we're going to scroll down for hidden. We're going to choose this one, so we're going to load this. Press. So right, so it's loaded, then now we have to select the hidden detail line, having loaded from the list of lines that were listed previously. Alright, so there it is hidden. And the line width is 0.3, right? It in here in the hidden layer inherited the 0.3 millimeters line width um, for the previous for the current um, layer which was selected at the time which was the outline layer okay so in other words if the outline layer if I, if I choose a red for example for the color the hidden layer would um, accept the default of the current layer which was red so the, um, the hidden detail would be the color for it would be red if I had chosen red as the color for the outline layer okay all right, so we have construction text. I'm gonna click, gonna close it. The layer properties manager. All right, the next thing we're gonna draw now is the front elevation for our prism. So we're going, we're gonna go to our line command. Here it is, and we're gonna start off with the width. So we're gonna go across. 70 millimeters enter the height would be 90 millimeters enter we're gonna come across 70 millimeters enter 
and I'll come down 90 millimeters enter all right enter so this is our plan all right, what we're gonna draw now so we're gonna label it plan right so we're gonna go to our single line text I'm gonna select right here as the start the height I'm gonna make the height six millimeters enter rotational angle zero press enter so this will be the front elevation okay for our prism all right the next thing we're gonna draw is a plan view for the prism okay so we're gonna go to our line command and anywhere below the drawing the width would be 70 millimeters enter coming down would be 20 millimeters enter coming across would be 70 millimeters enter and going up would be 20 millimeters enter all right so we have drawn our front elevation and the plan i'm going to move the words front elevation closer to the front elevation so that um we can know that um it is we're going to turn off snap or I'll put it right there so we know that this label is for the top view all right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put these lines on the outline layer so that um it is dark all right so if you're using the traditional instruments it would be the 3 h pencil or the 2 h pencil you'd have used to darn it up all right we're going to label now single line text we're going to label this plan height would be six millimeters rotational angle will be zero so i'm going to label all caps plan so this is the top view okay we're going to center it so we're going to move enter select the base point we're going to turn off object snap i'm going to put it right there all right all right so this will be our front elevation and plan for the prism all right i'm going to draw the end elevation for you for the prism so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw the side view which is the end elevation so i'm going to go line gonna, from this point i'm gonna draw a line 110 millimeters which is any length um further than the last point on the plan and the angle would be 315 degrees enter all right so this angle is 45 degrees to the t square or the horizontal line okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna draw horizontal lines from this point to intersect the 45 degree line okay we're gonna turn on ortho I'm gonna draw this line from here undo I'm gonna draw this line from here to there enter we're gonna draw construction lines from this point coming over like that enter we're going to draw lines coming over, enter. Then we're going to draw lines coming up, enter. All right. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to go to our outline layer and we're going to draw lines to darken up our end elevation. So, we go there, 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 enter then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side right so what we're gonna do we're gonna label our drawing we're gonna go to our text layer we're gonna go single line text and we're gonna start we're gonna turn off object snap we're gonna start right here so the height will be six rotational angle is zero so we're gonna type end elevation. All right, so that would have completed our drawing there, okay?
We have come to the end of part one of the video covering the drawing of the two-dimensional views of the prism that was presented on the left of the screen. In the next video, we'll be completing the first angle projection drawing, which is a two-dimensional drawing for the prism. And we look forward to seeing you in that video. Please take care until we meet again. And so watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.